Um, we're going to talk about many things. I'm an academic, as Richard says, um, and I have a kind of anthropological interest in you all. Uh, I've been sitting on the sidelines looking at you, uh, studying you, listening to what you say and the strange noises you make. Well, that makes two of us, because that's what I think a novelist should be doing as well. The well, exactly. quiet person in a gathering is probably writing a book. It's one of the things you had to do when you start out, and I know a lot of people here are starting out, and I can tell you it is the most difficult thing, to, f to find the way that you write that seems to fit whatever historical period you're doing without jarring. You, you could, um, when I write about the Civil War, I could write in 17th century English, but it would be a barrier to what I'm really trying to say. So you have to find a way, I think, where you, you don't use words that are so modern they stand out. Um, you don't obviously use anachronisms that will allow people to write and depress you by telling you you have done so. Um, but but you, have, you have to make your own, own way. And I def define this mostly by um, what I do about things like swear words, where I, I will not use the, the really modern core swear words because they are too modern. And so I've had to invent my own system of, of particularly Roman swearing, which involves things like people saying, Titans, turds. <laughs> I, I love that. And the lady's asking, have I done any Civil War novels? I've done two. One of, one of which is an enormous novel of the Civil War, the causes of the Civil War. You have to address that, don't you? These are the causes of the Civil War as seen by my hero and heroine. The Civil War, the First Civil War, the Second Civil War, the Commonwealth. I thought I might never be allowed to do it again, so I crammed it all in. And then just, just when it started to get really depressing and it's all going wrong, I stopped because I'd done a quarter of a million words. So that, that is Rebels and Traitors. And I have also done more recently because at the last HNS conference I went to, I was met by a lady who said, would I like to do a quick read, which is a special kind of book we can talk about in a minute. And she asked me if I would do the Civil War for that. So I've done two to answer your question. So what are quick reads? Let's, let me do that. What are quick reads? Oh, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad you asked me that. Quick reads were devised, um, I think about 10 years ago, may, maybe more or less, um, for people, originally for people who were adults but had only just learned to read, because you know we have a huge problem of illiteracy, hidden illiteracy. And, and people who were learning in adult life were finding that they, they had nothing to read except children's books. So this wonderful and not enough known series was devised, which are, some of them are fiction, some of them are non-fiction, most are fiction. Um, and they are, they are short books with short chapters, short pa paragraphs, short sentences, short words um, for people who struggle with reading. And all sorts of people who struggle with reading are now reading them. And they're used for educational purposes. They're used by the TUC. They're used in prisons. I had to go to a prison, which was a bit awkward because I realized that I had written a quick read, which is about prisoners. <laughs> Who make an escape? <laughs> On that cynical We'd better note. stop there. <laughs> 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 Lindsay will be signing books. <laughs> I will. <laughs>